Okay, so this is absolutely unbelievable. This was not on my bingo card. And the video that I gotta show you guys, get ready for this one, man. I think this is gonna cure your erectile dysfunction because everybody's doing backflips right now in the Call of Duty scene. Because to understand this, right, for the last five years, everybody in the Call of Duty community has been, been living on a prayer. Brothers have been living on a prayer. Brothers have been hoping that we get one good Call of Duty game, okay? And that prophecy might actually be full filled because today everybody started forgetting about the bbc bundles that we got in call of duty right seconds i forgot about the skill based match again seconds forgot about the teletoby skins all the d second that went down in the call of duty scene the cheating in call of duty lobbies as well and most importantly all the time that call of duty players have been dicked down by activision yay so i've got a video that i want to share with you like the video if you just want a good game man don't you want a good game like the video if you just want a good game man dislike if not i want to know where you at i want to know where you at because after seeing black ops 6 today this has been everybody's reaction everybody everybody's excited right now man everybody's hitting the g spot and, and i want to actually show you this roll this one particular entity that does not love x defiant though yeah is call of duty Call of Duty is running scared. Call of Duty is kind of like this player on the opposite team here, Sam J. Mick. Okay. If I represent X Defiant, my character, and Sam J. Mick represents Call of Duty, yeah. you're going to see Sam J. Mick, a.k.a. Call of Duty, uh, just eventually start crying like a baby and rage quit. Now, I'm not trying to go out of my way to kill Sam J. Mick. He just yeah. happens to be on the routes I am flanking on. I mean, it's oh, kind of wow. his fault, especially yeah. since this whole build's designed to flank around. I mean, here... Yeah, it's always everybody's fault. I, yeah, it, it's like bad news. Uh, I'm not reporting bad news, man. The bad news just happens to fall on my lap, and therefore I make a video. Yeah, I, I actually was live streaming earlier, and some of you guys were saying that, bro, like, Blaine Truth, he's gonna make a bad news video today, right? Uh, and I was actually excited, and uh, we, we're gonna move you up ahead i don't think you guys are ready for this one i don't think you yeah, 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 yeah. but real quick though one in the comments if you're actually excited about this game <laughs> yeah uh two in the comments if you're like still living on a prayer like this gentleman out here i mean god damn bro like this has been the call of duty community like brothers have been living on a prayer and i have been in the community in and out i, I have been in for the most part like why am i even saying out Bruh. right so i know like what goes through a call of duty player's mind so Everybody's like this. I guess hate on Call of Duty games, but seconds keep buying though, though, right? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So let's hope this is the one, man, but check this. Here he is again, and I actually kill him with like the very last bullet of my MP7. Um, I, I'm so sorry, Sam J. Mick, but yeah, he's he's gone. See you okay. later, buddy. See you later. And X Defiant, I think, can kind of, I don't know, relate to this. Again, okay. if, if X Defiant is me. Uh, cut to the chase, man, brother. Cut to the chase, man. People got places to be, man. I mean, damn, bro. Like, people got places to be, bro. Sam J. Make his COD. Let me just show you guys the news here. This oh, is here we go. some good stuff, all right? Tom Henderson okay. tweets, In its first week, X Defiant achieved 7.6 million unique players and has hit a concurrent player count of around 700,000 across no. all platforms. If we actually delve into the article here from Tom Henderson, he says, at the time of writing, X Defiant has approximately 7.6 million unique players, and multiple sources expect that number to reach 8 million by the end of today. Late last week, Insider Gaming reported that X Defiant had seen 1 million unique players in its first okay. two and a half hours, Holy making it Ubisoft's crap. fastest title to reach the milestone. 48 oh, hours after launch, the game had 3 million unique players. It's understood that a unique player means that the player has downloaded the game and opened it for the first time. Yeah. The yeah, internal yeah, yeah, goal yeah, yeah. was to hit 5 million unique players Damn. within the game's first month, a goal that has quickly been surpassed. So, X mm. Defiant... I, I like that. I, I actually like that. I, and I'm not even like a big Xbox or not Xbox. I mean, X defined fan or anything like that. Because some people actually call it like the Call of Duty killer. It's a Call of Duty killer, right? And other people are saying that, bro, like this game is not going to be able to carry us even till Black Ops 6 teaser. Yeah, some people. <laughs> some people have been saying that. And we got Justin Trudeau, the eight thoughts guy. Bro. I love the homie. I love the homie. Uh, if eight thoughts you're watching. And we got Joe Biden. We're looking. We're watching Joe Biden's video here. Blame truth, right? So Joe Biden and Eight Thoughts. So I should say Blame Truth and Joe Biden. Uh, Blame Truth and Eight Thoughts have been fighting. Uh, Eight Thoughts have been saying that Call of Duty is the best game ever. It used to be the guy that used to be like, okay, well, uh, Call of Duty is the worst game ever. Worst game ever. And now he has like a, a flip flop. He has done a backflip on the community, and he dropped like a, you know, a deuces. I'm outie. I want to see the Call of Duty community looking like this, bruh. You, if you feel what I'm saying, I want to see. 
see like Call of Duty community looking like this, right? I want to see people be excited just like the homie it thoughts after playing Call of Duty game. Let, let me know if you agree. Let me know if you agree. But wait for this one. Defiant right now is doing uh -oh. way better than anticipated which is fantastic news yeah. i've been talking about it on twitter and my twitter I, mean, I, I don't promote it like it's just a thing that exists you guys can click it and follow it's in the description if you want to i don't really promote it i actually deleted my og twitter just because i got sick of oh, the wow. site but i made oh, one wow. for you know, following news but uh my tweets have been popping yeah. off with x defiant someone said oh, wow. they wanted a br in x defiant and i quote tweeted it and said let us just have a motherfucking like shooter <laughs> without br or call of duty influence attached to it got like a million Oh man, if you guys got a Twitter though, um, my Twitter would be linked down below alongside my uh, link tree here with my second channels as well, where we, where we upload the UFO content and all that, right? I would definitely love to have you there. Let me show you. Let me show you. No homo, for, uh, first of all. Right, let's go back to the content now, boo boo, because on Twitter, I will make sure to deliver devastating news right to your door uh, doorsteps, right? How about that? I got you, man. Yeah, exactly. I got you, brothers. But impressions uh -oh. of i think it's like up to 17k likes or something like that so okay. x defiant is way more popular than i initially thought my video yesterday the best performing oh, yeah, video bro. i've Holy. had on the channel i think since modern warfare 3 came out and i was talking about ai bots and shit yeah. so this game is a big deal people keep saying yeah. like the money's in warzone the money's in br but like the money is in a good game the money is in listening to the players and there is a, like a hole where a competitive sort of a hero arena loadout shooter is needed and x defiant kind of fills that hole fills that gap and I think Call of Duty, truthfully, is scared, and, and this might be the best yeah. news I have. I've showed you guys on the channel in in years, just uh -huh. literal oh, wow. years. Listen to this. Look at this. Now, this is just a rumor. Take it with a grain of salt. All right. But look here. Look, listen to quote Wings of Redemption. Uh -oh. Crashty, a reputable leaker on Twitter, reputable COD leaker on Twitter, had this to say. This guy says, the only problem is just fucking SBMM. I hope they're gonna delete it. Crafty says, I heard something about the SBMM of Black Ops 6 being somewhat softer. Abdu says, is it reliable? Crashty says, it's not just a rumor. Now, I'm gonna report it as such, though. I'm gonna report it as just a rumor. But think about it like this. Think about it like this. I think Activision, I think Call of Duty, truthfully is a little worried about X Defiant taking all of their multiplayer players. And I'm not I'm not even being facetious there. People say, like, Call uh -huh. of Duty is this big thing. And it is. It is. But oh, Warzone's wow. kind of the big thing. Multiplayer has been dead in the fucking water. If I make yeah, a video yeah, yeah. tomorrow... Just talking about yeah they care about war zones they care about the bbc bundles the 80 dollars king kong punches the teletoby skins and, and could you imagine because they have confirmed saddam right and some people are saying the homie bin is gonna be in the game or not the homie my bad bro. why do i always add homie in front of everything okay not the homie not the homie bro whoa okay but people are saying saddam bin are gonna be in the game we're gonna have the towers building situation right out this september 2001 situation in the game as well we're hearing about it uh cannot say more than that and people People are saying uh, that apparently they're gonna dress Saddam and Bin as like a in like a Teletubby dress. They're gonna dress up. Yeah, they're apparently gonna dress up uh, 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 Saddam with like a Teletubby skin. I mean, uh, yeah, holy crap! Like, yeah, twenty dollar. Maybe they're gonna charge thirty dollars this time. Maybe they're gonna feel cute, and maybe they're gonna charge a little bit more. But it's quite true though. Warzone is their money maker. Call of Duty Mobile and Warzone money maker. Multiplayer, they don't necessarily they care, of course, but not the way they they used to, right? This is why you know BBC Online. Uh, we got Teletoby skins, punches, King Kong punches, eighty dollars, hundred dollars, and then you got the Call of Duty community saying it, it's just our reward, bro. Bro, I I honestly lost lost it when. I saw not just one guy, but multiple people. Yeah, we, if you did not know, we had $80 King Kong Monkey Punch in the game, the, the King Kong bundle, right? $80, cost $80. And you want to know what people said? It's just our reward for purchasing microtransactions, you know? Be, because, yeah, essentially, you, you got to purchase, like, four different bundles so you can then get it. Activision, they do it for a reason, bro. They got psychologists working there, bruh. They got psychologists working, and then they release a $100 uh, microtransaction in a way where if you spend $100 on microtransactions, then, only then, you can unlock the skin. They do it for a reason. But the Call of Duty community is like, no, bro, it's just a reward, bro. Look how nice is Activision. If I spend $100, they give me a reward. A reward. Oh my god, I get a reward, bro. How nice of Activision. I I, I, I wasted $100, uh, and now I get it for free. That's kind of like the mentality, right? Like, as I've been saying, we're getting that King Kong bundle for absolutely free. 
But you gotta spend $80 though, but you get it for free. That's what people are saying. It's just a reward. Bruh, I swear to God, man. This is why I'm saying, bro, this community has been living on a prayer, bro. I mean, what the hell is going on? As a brown man, I demand skill-based matching to remove, uh, be removed from all games effective immediately. <laughs> Make online free to play. Make our games good. We want good games. We demand better games. We demand games that cost seventy dollars to not have microtransactions. If a game is free, then okay, understandable. But still, like we demand full games at launch. Remove skill based matchmaking effective immediately. Like the video if you agree. Dislike if you disagree. About Modern Warfare Three Wait multiplayer. That video is gonna bomb. It just it just is. There is no interest. The game's been out about six months now, granted, but there is just no interest. Like. Call of Duty does this thing, and it's been doing this thing for the past five years, where it mm. releases a game, uh, multiplayer dies within like two months, and then Call of Duty YouTubers are just kind of sitting there with their dick in their hand until the <laughs> next Call of Duty <laughs> yeah, rears yeah, its ugly yeah. head, and then we all do this song and dance all over again, and then yeah, people like Modern year, Warzone say Call of Duty Vanguard's a top five COD. Yeah, the only thing COD Vanguard was a top five game in is top five games uh, that, that took years off my life for being so goddamn awful. That shit deserved to be buried. It, 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 yeah, he's, uh, those of you that think he's like joking around, he's not like uh, modern warzone over on twitter did say that vanguard is top five call of duty game i cannot believe it and this is these are the gameplay leaks that are going around about that tower situation apparently people are saying this game is gonna have that mission check out this video on the screen you're not gonna believe it and on the left apparently dr disrespect friend was apparently caught cheating check out both of these videos and i'll see you right there